Hi, hi, peeps. How are you? How is the going? Sina sauti. You know, Jana, I screamed a lot. Hey peeps, welcome back. Welcome back to Saisa. Welcome back because we are bold, we are brave, and we are courageous. I'm so happy to have you this new year. Happy New Year, happy 2020, happy new decade, and I hope you are very, very excited about this new year when we're going to start a new decade. It's been a while since I actually it's been many, many, many minutes since I did a sit down and I'm excited to be doing this sit down and this video is specifically for the challenge that I did towards the end of the year. Uh, 10 days of gratitude. I started it on the 23rd of December 2019 all the way until the 1st of 2020. It's one of those things that I had seen other people do 30 days, 21 days. So I wasn't sure I want to dive in in the 30 days or the 21 days. I just wanted to start small and just see how it goes. And thank you to those that responded on my Instagram. If you're not subscribed to my Instagram, please do it. It says Samonga. If you have not subscribed to this channel and you enjoy these videos and you enjoy this face and you enjoy listening to this voice, kindly please, please subscribe. Yes. So the video here today is about gratitude. 10 days of gratitude challenge meaning that every day you have to be thankful for something i'll put a picture of what what the words i was using for the 10 days somewhere maybe at, at this top or whatever yes and this amazing piece is from samburu i'm trying to become a samburu bay but let's get into it gratitude is the quality of being thankful and readiness to show appreciation for or to return kindness. Day one, which was on the 23rd, I was thankful and I recognized the things that have happened to me that have been of a great, great, great blessing. Some of those things is that this far that I have come, it has taken God's hand for me to have come this far and to be who I am today. It's just recognizing the effort and the strength that the Lord has continued to give me and also appreciating the fact that there are people who have been around me and I recognize that they have been their family, friends, and just helping me to be who I am today. Strangers, you know, who came in a season and ended, some who came to teach me something, I recognize every small gift, every small effort, every small contribution, or a token of appreciation, or just giving to my life. I recognize that it is not by my own making. It has taken the hand of God and it has taken every one of you to be who I am today. And for that, I am grateful. And for that, I am thankful. Day two was to appreciation. This was just the Christmas Eve, appreciation. And appreciating that there are some lessons that I have learned through pain. Appreciating that I have had to go through pain and overcome. Appreciating that there are scars that tell my story. Appreciating the achievements that I have had. That just say, that speak on you know, the support of family, the critical friends, just being present and saying, I am thankful for all of you. So day two was appreciation. Day three was thankful. Wow. Um, I was so thankful on this day because first of all, it was Christmas day. Being thankful for Christmas and for the birth of Christ and to really appreciate that gift that keeps on giving. The birth of Christ, it keeps on giving. It gives forgiveness, it gives new hope, it gives, you know, excitement, you know, to just look forward to a loving father, to a loving counselor who is Jesus. It's just a, a very, very great thing to be thankful for. Day four was graced. Um, it's been my word for 2019, being graced. And actually, the definition of being graced is that you have freely, you are freely given unmerited favor. And I would say that has been my 2019, being given unmerited favor, favor that I didn't really, really deserve. But God saw it fit to give it to me. Unmerited favor in so many spaces, but the ones that I was really thankful for that day were about two. One of them 
other than being thankful other than being graced to have a job to be educated to have friends to have a home to have food to have shelter and all those things that go in between that we probably take for granted i felt so much graced on this day to acknowledge that i have traveled in different forms and nothing that has happened to me a long time when i'm in lambo i do a lot of boats and just that no harm has come to me and it's not that I use the best of skilled pilots or drivers, it's just by the grace of God. There are many times that I'm on the road for days, for, there was a time I was on the road for about few, uh, 10 days non-stop from one, one thing to another. And just realizing that every day I was so graced to be alive, you know, to just go through those different forms of transport and not, no harm that came to me. Not even once I had an accident, not even once I was even hit or we hit somebody. Even for a plane to take off, to take off and to land properly, you know, it's it takes it's been graced. And for on that day, I really, really acknowledge that it takes the hand of God. It has nothing. It, and being graced is because I'm not special. It's just by the grace of God. I was also graced to have platforms where I can speak to people. The events I've been able to MC, the people who have been able to mentor, the platforms that where I can speak to people for, like like YouTube and. and other platforms and that's been great for people even to listen to me for the 127 for uh, subscribers on youtube for you to believe in what i'm saying isn't that grace that's grace day five was indebted and this means owing gratitude for a service or a favor and on this day i was looking on a service um because of the nature of my work and it's sorry that i can't dive into it because it's, it's a bit sensitive but in my nature of work, I require security more more often than other normal days. And indebted to them is because I have been in situations where you stare at death over and over again. And that is what they do every day. They actually they guard us as we sleep. You know, we are we are sleeping, they are guarding us, you know. Uh, having to work with them on a daily basis, you know, seeing them when they are really, really tired and they can't stop being the guard you know they can't stop protecting us you know going the extra mile most of them even helped me to go to the toilet like they one end and a mimi and a simama hapa and then i am doing my thing here and i am truly truly indebted i'm truly indebted to them because when i walk we walk for many kilometers and sometimes i'm tired and i'm lazy and i'm feeling you know i'm just lagging behind there's always one of them who would be left with me to walk with me, you know, to hold my hand. They would even wait for me to take breaks, you know, to sit down, relax, take water. I am truly indebted to these men and women. Day six is blessed. Day I was feeling so blessed. Specifically to have followers, to have friends, and to have subscribers. Thank you, my subscribers. Thank you, my followers. And thank you, my friends. On all my platforms. Thank you. Day seven honored um honored is such a such a respectful and strong word uh, but on this day on day seven i was looking at honored as the way i have been honored to be part of a church to be part of a local church i wouldn't get into how i came to this church and all that because there's a lot of stories but i've been with this church for a while and now i'm in a branch of the church it's called Karuda community chapel foresight and I'm really honored to be part of a local church. I'm also really, really honored to be able to serve, to be given a chance to serve, to be to do service hosting, uh, to be to be with the body of Christ, to be part of a Bible study, to be part of a CLG, you know, to to have people who we can work together that I don't have to do life alone. And to have people who we who I can be accountable to and who we can pursue and follow Christ together. That is what I'm honored for, to have a church that allows me to be who I am and gives me a chance to serve regardless of the many flaws and the many shortcomings that I have, to have who have continuously been patient and appreciating of what of the people I give. Thank you to Foresight. Day 8, favored. So many things four things one of them is that i started this youtube channel in april <laughs> i don't know who 
who I should be doing a toast with and not be getting. So I started this YouTube channel. And then in 2019, I also was also part of a show. I was at uh, Crossover 101. And I was, well, you can say that was my moment of fame in 2019. I was on TV for a whole, for a whole like 45 minutes or so. Yeah, and I was there. I'll put a photo so that you get it. Yeah, yeah. I attended my first women conference. Hey, this was so major. Hey, first of all, I was so excited because I was part of the planning committee. And then after that, just, you know, planning for months and then seeing it happen. Hey, it was such, a, such an honor. And the things we discussed in that women conference were amazing. The thing was a uh, grow, hashtag grow, and more yellow and emerald green. Oh my goodness. And there were a lot of flowers. When we went together, come together, it's bright and shiny. Also, on 2019, I got to so favored about is that I got friends. 2019, I don't think I lost friends. I hope I don't lose them some in 2020. But I didn't lose any friends in 2019. And I gained new friends. And I got a chance to go on my first holiday. Oh, no, I actually had two holidays. Hey, I'm telling you that it's over. Thank you, God. So I had two holidays. The one I traveled on my birthday. The other one I traveled in September. I went to the Masai Mara because I've never been to Masai Mara. And it was amazing. Day 9, praise. This was on the 31st of December. Praise. Yani. <sighs> Just being in a moment of seeing the end of a year, I don't take it for granted. I don't take it for granted. So I was so excited to, to go. I went on a catch on the 31st. I was so excited to go and shout and, sh and sing my lungs out or my kidneys out, you know. I don't think they were for just seem to appreciate God that I wasn't sick in 2019, that I didn't go through a hard thing in 2019, that God preserved me, preserved my body, preserved my family, preserved my friends, and even that God preserved this country. We didn't go to war, and that's something to praise God about. Hey, forget all the things that have happened to us because anyway, a lot of things have happened to us Kenyans, but praising God for what has happened was for me. I was able to shout and tell God, thank you for preserving my, my soul, out my lungs out as I welcome the new year. So, and my three words for 2019, please kindly watch that episode from the end of the year. And they were grace, acceptance, and beginnings. And finally was day 10, privileged. You know, that word is most of the time abused, privilege. Um, you're so privileged, oh, you're a privileged child, you're a privileged human being, but privilege for me meant that I saw the end of a decade and the beginning of a new decade. That's privilege. You know, that's looking at over 10 years that passed and looking to a new decade for me, I felt so privileged. I felt so privileged to know a God that is dependable and a God who has, and knowing the power of the cross and what it can do. You know, I felt so privileged to have family that support me over and over again to have friends who critique me to have you know to have the things that i do not feel or think they are worth having and one of those things is just being here and being alive and being able to chase my dream it's a privilege it's a privilege to even have the wisdom to know why you're here to know your purpose and i felt so privileged to welcome the new decade with a lot of excitement and a lot of hope so those were my 10 days of gratitude and i hope this year, I will do maybe 20 or 30 days of gratitude. And I hope you'll be there with me. And thank you. Thank you for being part of this journey. And I'm